What's up guys, Lawrence Goins here, DJ LG, back with another video for you. I promised I would do a Devin Graham Signature Series Glide Cam tutorial on how to balance the camera. And it's been a while since I promised that, so I decided why not deliver. We just got done shooting at the X Games here at uh, in Austin, Texas at the uh, Circuit of Americas. And well, I'm gonna show you my kit and what I brought and how to quickly balance the glide cam on the fly. So here's the Devin Graham glide cam. And we open it up. Everything's in this nice little pouch for you here. Most of the other glide cams don't come with this case, which is an advantage of getting the Devin Graham series. So I'm gonna put it together. This is your handle. This is the base. Now the base comes with these weights. There's 12 of them. 12 of these weights, and you can put them on either side of the base. Depending on how heavy your camera is, will depend on how many weights you put on. I happen to know that with my DSLR setup, that I need three weights on each side. If I were to use the battery grip on my DSLR, I would need four weights on each side, so I'd actually unscrew these little things here and add on more weights. But since there's three on there already, I know I'm good to go. So we'll put the extra weights away and we'll assemble the kit. This is the uh, camera mount, this is the pole. So the pole goes on down here. Just screw that thing on. I like to turn it upside down, spin this off. Get it till it's nice and tight. Next, you're gonna wanna put the top part on. And if you notice, if you've used a glide cam before, you'll notice this top part is different than the other glide cams because it actually has a Manfrotto quick release plate up here. So you can go quickly from a tripod to the glide cam and not have to worry about setting stuff up all crazy. All right, there's the glide cam all set up. Now we just need to add the camera. I shoot with a Canon 7D Mark II, which I have right here. And I have the 10 to 22 Canon EFS lens to get wide angle shots. This is the lens I always use for glide cam because it just looks awesome having a wide angle when you're gliding along. You wanna make sure you have all your accessories attached. If you're using a circular pol polarizer, make sure it's attached to the front, make sure your batteries are in. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab your Manfrotto plate. Put it on the bottom, standard video Manfrotto plate. Normally I have a screwdriver, a coin in my pocket to tighten this up, but I'm just gonna hand tighten it right now for this demonstration purpose. All right, and I normally shoot with the hood, just make sure that's on. And I also normally shoot with the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is actually the second version of the VideoMic. It's a little bit bigger than the original version, but it has a better shock mount, which is why I purchased it over the older version. The older version is still good, but I like to stay up to date on my gadgets. All right, we're all set up. Now we're gonna balance the glide cam. First thing you gotta do is obviously put the camera on. So just slide it onto your quick release plate, your Manfrotto quick release plate. Snaps right in. Go ahead and tighten the little knob on the side so you got a good tight grip. Now, the first thing I like to do is adjust the drop time. By moving this gimbal up and down, you can mess with the drop time. For example, tighten that up, hold it here. The drop time is how many seconds it takes to get to vertical from a horizontal position. So, one, two. Eh, about one and a half right there. That's a little bit too fast for me. So you wanna lower the gimbal. And there's little notches on the side here with numbers so you can kind of track where you're at. Let's go with 12 and a half right here. Try the drop time again. One, two. See, that's a little bit better, a little bit slower. I'm gonna go just a little bit further. Put it at 12, see what the drop time is there. 
one, two, almost two and a half seconds. That's about where I like to have my drop time, right there. So now that you have that balanced, you're gonna need to balance the left and right and the forward and back. And for that, you're gonna need a level surface. Um, ground doesn't look too level here. So I'm just gonna use my bumper. I mean, this is the kind of things you have to do on the fly. So you wanna go from a level surface and just pick it up straight into the air and see which way it leans. That's if it's leaning forward and to the left. So, since it's leaning forward, we'll take the forward adjust knob and move it back some, which will actually move the camera back. And we should have less forward movement when I pick it up. See, it's still leaning forward just a bit and also to the left. So I'm gonna move that forward adjustment to the rear some and the left-right adjustment, I'm gonna move it to the right since it was leaning to the left a little bit. See, it's still leaning forward and left a little, so just a little bit more adjusting. So you get it just right. And it's still leaning a little bit to the left and forward. So. Now it's windy out here too, so. be a little bit right but let's say that's pretty good right there. So there you go and we have a balanced glide cam with a drop time of about two and a half seconds and you should be good to go with left and right movements and let me fire it up and actually shoot some video real quick here Alright, you're going to see Ryan, Ryan is my cameraman and he's he's actually rolling with the Panasonic AG AC160 which is a pretty cool camera for shooting straight up video. Okay, I'm going to run around here, like that, and it's really windy out here so you kind of have to watch your balance here. Let's see what you do. If you hold on with the right hand, your good hand, or whichever one you're comfortable with. Some people hold it out here. Devin Graham actually holds it out here. I like to hold it back here and stabilize with my left hand. You don't want to use too much of your left hand because that defeats the purpose of the gimbal and the glide cam. But if you just kind of do this, you should be good to go and you can get like running shots. Basically it, another trick, we've got a ghetto bird flying over. Another trick I like to use when shooting with the glide cam is to shoot in 60 frames per second or, one, or higher if you can get higher in your camera because I edit on a 24p timeline so when I convert the frame rate down to 24 seconds it gives me ultra smooth slow motion. There's a few tips and tricks with the Devin Graham Signature Series Glide Cam. I've had this for a little over a year. I took, I took it to Spain, Portugal, Morocco. They'll look at you funny when you take it through the check bags at the airport through security. They might think it's a weapon, but just explain it to them. Tell them it's a tripod and you should be good to go. All right, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We are gonna go find some skaters or something because we're at the X Games. See ya, peace.